In this video I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a mood board. Now we've already covered why it's worth doing a mood board in a music video project. So let's get started. First of all we'll go to canva.com and as you can see we can sign up with Google here and what we'll do is be using our school email addresses. So when you go sign up it's going to um, ask you to sign in with your school email address and if you just go ahead and allow that permission that'll take you straight into Canva. So as you can see I've used Canva quite a bit and these are all the different designs that you can do with it. You can see it can be quite uh, graphic, you can create badges, banners, um, posters, all sorts of um, wonderful things as you can see. So when we get started you go create a design and this will open up a whole range of uh, different options for you. What we'll really do is start with a simple A4 design and once this interface loads we can get started. First thing let's click up here where it says Untitled Design and we'll just give it a name Mood Board for Music Video and we'll click Done. Grids are highly useful because if we were to choose uh, a grid layout such as this all we need to do now is to click into each section and to replace the picture here. So if we go to our search and I go beach that's going to fit this space here let's drop that in and we're also going to find a surfing close-up image um, I like you've got to make sure you're finding free ones that's a great early morning shot of a surfboard and so I can place it in there and that's not the best location for that one. What I can do is crop and this allows me to move it within the space and then we click on the tick. So that's looking better. Um, what I can also find is an image of a surfer. And again, we're trying to use free ones as much as possible. The clip out's not really useful. Um, so in this instance, what I'm going to do now is jump into a Google Images search. And if I type in an Images search for Surfer, close up, we now have um, some footage that we can work with. So let's take this shot here. What I'm going to do is click on it and view the image and I'm going to save the image to my downloads and what Canva allows you to do is to upload your own pictures so I want to place that image here what I'll do is go into my downloads folder and I'm going to simply drag and drop the picture onto the sidebar. You'll see our graphic here which indicates the pictures being uploaded. And so if I go to uploads we'll see the image has been placed here. Now I can drag that out to here the placement's not good, so we go into crop, drag it across, click on the tick, and now we've got a better design to work with. One more picture down here, so I'm going to go into, I might go for like a GoPro surf image, so that I could do a kind of point of view shot. This one looks fantastic. So we'll go view image, once again right click, 
save image as, save it to your downloads, go back into Canva, simply drag and drop the picture into this workspace. You'll see it's being uploaded here. Now it's finished. I can drag and drop it out into the last space here. Click, crop, try to get a little bit more of that shot in there and click on the tick box. Now when it comes to the spacing you can see how we can expand or contract the border that goes around the images so that's a useful feature when you're using the grid. Um, we can also filter the images separately as you can see here. So that's how we can create a mood board. You could go ahead and add a new page, continue working with grids. Perhaps you want to do a more complicated grid like these ones here. Um, and by doing so, you're starting to visualize what you might be filming for your music video. Once you've finished, you simply go to download and it gives you a PDF as a standard file type. You can also export them as JPEG and PNG images, but I recommend you go with that standard PDF. And when you click download, it comes down to your computer and then you can upload it to OneNote. So you'll see it's now been downloaded. If I go back to my downloads folder, here it is, double click, and we have our mood board created like so.